Hello, my name is Ron Weingart. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about what to look for when purchasing a vacuum uh, or a chipper shredder. First, the vacuum is available in push or self-propelled action. Uh, the push uh, means that you would be pushing the machine and the self-propel has a drive system uh, to pull the machine for you. Uh, if you're looking at a push vacuum, it's very important to look for something with larger diameter wheels that will help uh, make the machine easier to push, especially over rougher terrain. And also help to support the weight uh, of the bag as it starts filling with, with debris. Uh, Self-propel for yard use um, is a very popular option uh, because of uh, the added weight of the bag uh, to make the job easier for you. So self-propel is something you definitely want to consider if you're using it for lawn application. A push is uh, many times used if you're using for parking lot cleaning. Um, a push is very adequate on a smoother, smoother surface. The other thing uh, you'd want to look for, um, there are optional hose kits available. And what the hose kit will do, uh, you can shut off the front, the front snout and directs all the vacuum action into the hose. And then this you can use uh, to um, maybe get around the shrub beds in areas you can't reach uh, with the standard vacuum snout. Also, uh, a nice feature is you want uh, something that is very easily to adjust your, your snout opening. If you're into heavier debris, you want to open that up to, to allow the, the, the heavier debris in. If you want to create more vacuum action for better cleaning, maybe on a flush surface, you can lower that down and it creates more vacuum action for better cleanup on the, um, for lighter, lighter use. Another thing is um, a chipper option. Uh, many of your vacuums will have a chipper option. And what this does, you can feed your limbs down into the chipper. Um, so if you have some light limbs throughout the yard, um, you can feed them into the chipper and then use the vacuum for picking up the leaves and the other debris. Your typical um, vacuum system, uh, as, as the debris runs through, through the impeller, you will get approximately a four to one reduction. Uh, so you'll fit more in a bag than you would if you were just uh, bagging the material uh, manually. So you do get approximately a four to one reduction depending on the material. You're going to move into the chipper shredders. These are dedicated machines designed uh, for chipping and shredding. Uh, the, the, the key advantage with these in, is you get a much better reduction, uh, typically 10 to 12 to 1 reduction uh, in debris because these will has a, have a series of, of swinging knives down in the hopper that will actually um, uh, shred, shred the deb debris versus just running it through the vacuum impeller. Um, there again, the chipping option, typical size limbs, these will handle is two to three inch, depending on the machine. Um, and then, you know, different horsepower. If you have a lot of heavy debris, especially a lot of heavy chipping, you don't want something with a larger engine because it, it does require more horsepower, especially under the chipping application. Nice feature because these are a little larger unit, um, is a tow bar. You can attach these very easily and then hook it to your lawn tractor uh, or utility vehicle to take uh, the chipper. Uh, maybe if you have it in the uh, rear of the yard, um, it's very easy to, uh, to move the, the chipper shredders. Some of your uh, heavier duty machines, if you notice this has a much larger opening, this will handle three inch limbs and will handle more effectively. Um, they also get into a larger uh, diameter impeller um, the, these uh, will have up to 30 pounds worth of weight in the impeller. The additional weight will help the momentum for heavier chipping. So even though you may find a chipper that you have two machines rated at three inches, if you have something with a heavier impeller, it has the momentum so they'll do a better job uh, doing the larger, larger three inch diameter limbs. There again, you want to look for something with a nice wide opening for feeding your leaves and other debris. And, and as I mentioned, the big thing with the, the um, the, sh the dedicated shredder is much, much more, much better reduction. And they also have different screens available depending on if you want smaller uh, mulch, uh, you know, if you're, uh, for your beds, uh, or if you have a lot of wet debris, you can have larger openings so it handles the wet debris more efficiently. So there's different screens available um, depending on the application. So depending on your application, whether you want to vacuum with a chipper option or dedicated unit, uh, basically depending on the type of use you're looking for. Thank you.